everybody planting 81 here and today is November 10th Thursday November 10th 2011 and we're looking at my bell peppers check them out they're still coming along but I think even though they're not all ripe I may end up harvesting them so that I don't lose them to this um, freezing weather that we are having um, we've been having some really cold temps. The tomatoes, they're still alive, so we'll see how much longer they stay alive. The borage, it's, you can see it's getting more buds in there, and it's still flowering along. It's a beautiful plant. I'm so glad to have um, been growing it. Um, I am going to be, I did harvest some seeds so that I can grow it again next year. Um, some things that I've added, or sorry. The strawberries, um, they're coming along. They're looking good. They, I did harvest some strawberries from these three little plants because there's three little plants in this planter. These are my oldest ones. I got these back in spring. And as you can see, they're doing great. And since these were doing so awesome, I decided to purchase a six-pack of strawberries. And these are the little six-pack that I Bought. I'm hoping that um, they do as well as the ones that I bought earlier this spring. Um, down below, we have pansies, and oh my, these things just grow so slow. It's not even funny. Um, here we have some seeds that I've harvested. I harvested my smallest um, sunflower, and there's the seeds from those. Um, these are stevia seeds that I've harvested to try to grow it again next year. I've heard that the seeds aren't very viable, so I did grab a few just in case. And then here, oh, you can't see it. Oh, there it goes. Are the uh, borage seeds that I harvested. So hopefully I'll be having luck with those few things. The mint is coming right along. I think there's a little bit more um, aphid damage, but we'll see what comes along with that. The stuff that decided to come from my compost. Well, as you can see, it looks damaged. That is because somebody found it. And that somebody is Mr. Gopher. And he is dragging my plants down. So I guess what? I probably won't be having anything from my little compost pile, which I was hoping to at least see what would happen. Um, my, the rest of my garden, my biggest part of my garden, my raised beds, they're not doing as hot as I was hoping they would. Bed one, which is this one here, is probably with the most green. Bed two is coming in second, but bed three and four, well, not so hot. So I believe there's a few things that are affecting my um, lack of green in my garden area. And one of those is the weather. The weather has been, I mean, sunny during the day but just really cold at night the day temperatures have been awesome but at night it's going down to like the low 30s um, and so that's one of the things the other thing is my soil my soil um, is just not cutting it I think is you can see it's really big chunks um, so I believe it's like uncomposted compost so I think that's affecting my germination and my growth um, so what I'm gonna be doing with this bed is a little experiment even though it's so late now I'm going to be mixing in some worm castings into this bed and um, trying to see if I can get things to germinate because it, it has like a little greenhouse that I can that can go over it and um, 
I'm going to try that. So I'm going to try two things. One, the warm castings. And two, the um, little greenhouse attachment that he has. Hopefully it'll do much better. I did move my stevia because I saw some green and I got it all excited. So I cut off the top that had all the flowers on it. And I transplanted so that maybe these two will take off. Bed two, this is bed two, is looking rather well, I think. I mean, my onions are coming along, even though the soil is still not the best. Um, you know, things seem to be doing fairly well for what they've got. You know, the cilantro, this is the best batch that I've grown. Um, bed one over here is doing okay as well. I think the stuff that's doing the best here is probably my uh, collards and my um, lettuce mix here. The carrots aren't doing too bad and the beets, well, I don't know if they're stunted or not. I guess I shall be finding out. The peas, hmm, they don't look so hot but I did get some additional peas to germinate back here. So maybe those will do better. Um, bed four over here, it just looks bare. And that's just sad. It makes me really, really sad. Um, I think the m things from here that are doing the best is like my peas, my snow peas, and um, the pak choy right here. That is about it. Oh, well, the radishes, I mean, for radishes, I think they're doing bad. And then we do have some cilantro. So we'll see what comes of that. Now, the worm castings that I'm going to be adding to my one raised bed as an experiment are these here. They're the Worm Gold Plus. And it says pure... Um, worm castings plus kelp and volcanic uh, rock. Hopefully, um, they're good. If anybody out there has tried these and, you know, had success with it, let me know. And we'll see if maybe the next update will be a little better. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my sister's um, channel. SoCal Garden and um, I'll look forward to seeing your updates and maybe hearing from you as some tips that might help me get that bit over there to germinate a whole lot better. Once again, Plantin 81. Thank you for watching. Bye.